I'm gonna be showing you how to complete the Insight Terminus Grandmaster Nightfall for an easy guide. You can also get exotics, masterwork materials, and the Nightfall weapon fast. The loadout that I recommend to use is Arbalest with a Void Energy Scout Rifle for the Void Shields, and this could be Aisha's Embrace. But one person can also use a Blinding Grenade Launcher, and this could be the Truth Teller to help with the boss room. You can combine these weapons with a Linear Fusion Rifle such as Storm Chaser or the Threaded Needle. But also remember that Leviathan's Breath can stun lock the boss so it'll make it easier to do DPS so you can hit your shots. If you're a hunter, you can use the Mobius Quiver with Omni Oculus, Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step. If you're a Warlock, you can use a Well combined with Phoenix Protocol or Aeon Soul and you can also use Icarus Dash and Touch of Flame with this. But another alternative if you're a Warlock is to use a Stasis build as it can help to freeze enemies and make the strike a lot easier. And if you're a Titan, you can use Ward of Dawn with the Heart of Inmost Light Exotic as well as Bastion and Control Demolition. But you could also use Hammer of Soul with Soul Invictus, Warring Flames, and the Lowly Splendid Helm exotic. And to fully understand how to complete the strike, make sure you watch at the end. And at the start of the strike itself, go on your Sparrow to the first room, and there'll be three barrier champions in this room, as well as some adds and a Minotaur. And make sure you have a Void Weapon to be able to break the Minotaur Shield, and then push forward to be able to kill the other barrier champion. For the next area, you can use Blinding Nades for the adds. And after you've killed the adds, you can hide behind the rocks. And from here, you'll be able to target the barrier champion. Also, watch out for the snipers so definitely make sure you have sniper resistance for the next area if you do have a stasis warlock and you keep freezing that adds no champions will actually spawn and you'll still be able to get a platinum run and you can also stand on the top of the statues to make this part easier and for the next part of the strike you have to deposit two arc charges at the back of the room but also watch out for the vex milk as you're coming into the room then target the barrier champion and the legionaries after that shoot cargan for more adds and another champion to spawn and the champion can either spawn in the close or the far portal and if it spawns in the close portal you'll be able to spawn kill it and to do this definitely place a well down and use storm chaser after you've dealt with the barrier champion there'll now be an unstoppable champion then you'll need to kill the unstoppable champion and it will have an arc charge when you kill it and you have to deposit this arc charge at the back of the room but there'll also be another barrier champion and some gladiators there for the barrier champions definitely make sure not to peek too much as they can easily kill you and for this area there'll be two unstoppable champions so you have to do the same thing twice once you've deposited the second charge definitely look around the room to see if there's any more ammo and when you're going to the boss room definitely make sure to watch out for the ads as they can catch you off guard and when you see the boss room itself shoot the hydra and the minotaur for a higher nightfall score once you're in the boss room you have to capture the first plate to damage the boss also make sure you're constantly moving around as the boss can do a void attack and this void attack can do a lot of damage and it can one shot you easily and once the boss is health gated you need to capture the plates on the left middle and the right side of the room and once you've captured all the plates you can damage the boss again and for dps you can use storm chaser but if you struggle to hit your shots you can use leviathan's breath instead as it can stun lock the boss making it easier to hit your shots once the boss is dead you'll get some adept loot as well as exotics the boss she's for the strike is on the far right corner of the room and you can head glitch the boss from here and damage him i hope you found this video useful make sure to like and subscribe for more destiny 2 content thanks for watching